It's now one week on from that amazing finish at the Yorkshire Three Peaks Fell Race, some memories I will hold with me for quite some time. But today I want to give you an update on the injury, what we're doing going forward and discuss the post-race blues and our relationship with running and if it really is healthy or not. When you build up to a big event, all your training, your whole life has evolved around this one thing and when it's gone, there's a big void. There's a gap in your life that you can't fill until you book the next race and feel like you're making steps towards achieving it. That again is not a very healthy relationship to have with running. So we're gonna lace up in a second, hit the trails, and I'm gonna to explain to you why I generally don't suffer with post-race blues and what you can do to avoid them as well. We're then gonna talk about my future and what we're gonna be doing going into winter. Tights are on, the gloves are out, and it's bloody cold, guys. Winter's well and truly on the way. Let's begin, though, with a little story. When I first started running about four or five years ago, the goal was to finish the Wayne Stones Marathon. I hired a coach, spent a year and a half training, and I did it. I sat there in the village hall, and I should have been elated over the moon to achieve my goal, and all I felt was empty. It wasn't until later I realised my whole life had evolved around this one race, this one event for so long, once it was gone, there was a massive void. I then started to learn about my true potential in running and my mind flipped from a race mentality to a long-term development one. And since then, I have bounced out of races, happy to start training again and happy to kick on, even without another A goal race in the build-up. As long as I'm progressing and as long as I feel like I'm developing, I'm happy and I don't suffer with the post-race blue. That guy who was sat in the village hall, depressed after achieving his goal, did not have a healthy relationship with running at all. I feel much better now. So if there's one piece of advice I could give you all, it's to try your best not to center everything around the races, make it about the long-term development. I'm not just talking about next month, I'm talking about in years, many years time. But what does this actually look like and mean in practice? Was it real or just pretend? Tell me why do you wanna end? Is he really just your friend? This is changing guys. Cause it's playing in my head every word that you said I ain't worked it out yet. So why do you wanna end? Let's use me as an example. So my long-term plan is to try and compete in the Hard Mars 55, maybe even go and do something in the Lakeland 50. However, I need to look at my strengths and my weaknesses. So I'm a fast runner, but my economy isn't fantastic over the longer distances. Once I get up towards marathon and above, I tend to have to work very hard to be able to do myself justice, which obviously is an issue for the stomach because there's not as much blood in there. Now to sort this out, I need to work on my moderate pace effort. I need to work on that base and get faster from the bottom so it works its way up through the rest of my training. We are going to be working on my 5K pace, my mile pace, that real high-end aerobic stuff in the coming weeks once this injury is sorted out. We're gonna be doing lots of fell races to complement my training, not as races themselves. And I'm gonna plan a lot of marathons going into next year. Like 
Now, of course, you can't just wait two or three years for a big race to come around. You've got to have medium and short term goals as well. But to use them as benchmarks for your overall development is a much healthier way of doing your running. So what I'm going to be doing is pinpointing the Yorkshire Three Peaks in April. I've now got my times uh, and I've got my splits from this year. And we're either going to do that race or we're going to do the Hard Mold Waynestones race, which I've done a number of times before as well to measure my development throughout the winter and make sure that I'm on track. We've got a long time till April, so between then and now, I'm gonna be looking at things like the Edale Skyline race, possibly even High Cup Nick, some really tough fell races as training races. Again, there's not gonna to be too much important on the result of these ones. It's gonna matter when we get into April. And in the real short term, we're gonna be using park runs as a marker for my 5K time and general progress. So I'm really happy about the plan going forwards. I just wanna kick on now. We need to get this leg sorted out. I've probably got another two, three days before the bruising works its way out and I can start training properly. I can feel it right now which isn't a great sign. So we'll probably uh, take a bit of a rest day tomorrow. But fingers crossed, by the time we get towards next weekend, I won't have to worry about it anymore. And yes, guys, I am wearing the VJ Sparks. I've got another pair coming next week, hopefully, uh, in a size nine. I'm in an eight and a half right now, so I'll get you my first impressions. I just want to feel out both sizes because these are a little bit too tight. There was no Anyway, back on point and to round this video off with a different type of message, it's not always about races, guys. You've got to be happy in general with your day-to-day -day life and get a really good balance. I want to get up more in the mountains this year. That's a massive goal of mine. This also has the added bonus of helping me with those big climbs that I don't get around here. But in general, that's more about up here and just being happy. Okay, guys, different type of episode today. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any thoughts on this sort of content, you want to see more of it, let me know. Likewise, if you guys want to talk, get down in the comments. If you want to do it privately, message me on Instagram, email. I honestly do really enjoy chatting with you guys. And if anyone's got anything they want to discuss, my ears are always open. Right, guys, hopefully I'll see you really soon actually doing a proper run or even a race. Catch you later.